This film is part of a series featuring 10 student films from the University of Montana's Media Arts Department. Watch and enjoy. I'm John Baker. I'm a University of Montana Media Arts student, and my film is A Proposal for Murder. A Proposal for Murder started um, as a 48-hour film project between me, Jess McLean, and James Shirley. They're our, um, colleagues of mine at the university. And we all, what we had in common was we wanted to do a film noir. And so we just kind of ran with that. We came up with uh, a concept, and I went home, I wrote the script, uh, came up with a shot list, did a very, you know, quick uh, pre-production, and um, we got it together. We all acted in it. We couldn't get actors, so we did it ourselves, and uh, it turned out really nice, I think. Does she have an appointment? No, she doesn't, but she said it's an emergency. Okay, send her in. Sure thing, Mr. Price. As soon as she walked in, I should have smelt trouble. But the smell of her perfume had me distracted. Mr. Price? I'm terribly sorry for coming unannounced, but I do appreciate you seeing me. As I watched those sweet cherry lips move up and down, I had to concentrate on the words coming out. She said her name was Evelyn, and I believed her. Then she said she was in some kind of a jam. That I didn't believe. From the looks of her, I could tell that this dame never worked a day in her life. But I'd give her a workout. You see, Mr. Price? His goons are after me and I can't go to the police. Well, will you help me? And why do you think I can help you? Well, you are the only person that can help me, Mr. Price. Please, call me Don. Don, you're the only one that can help. Well, work is piling up around here as we speak, and uh, I have to say, the tune you're singing ain't exactly whistling Dixie. Well, if you must think about it, can I call you tomorrow? Sure. And if I don't answer, you know the answer. Got it? The way she looked at me on the way out gave me that feeling that you get when you got the bite. Boy, did I have the bite. I was bit. And I was beat. I needed sleep, but work was there, and I hadn't slept in days. Not well, anyway.
Something wasn't sitting quite right with me today. After being chased around town, I needed sleep more than ever. If I could only find my car. No need to run, Mr. Price. We just want to talk. I'm Detective Sanders. This here's my partner, Detective Smalley. We're sorry about earlier, but we do believe you're being set up by the Seven. You heard about the murder, didn't you? I didn't want to believe it. She left me wanting more, and I halfways didn't care. She said her husband was a bad guy, that I could somehow save her. And I couldn't save her from this. And then she kills you, plants a gun on you. It's not the first time it's happened. So what do I do now? She calls you, you call us, we take her in. And that's that. Don Price here. Mr. Price, it's Evelyn. Have you had a chance to consider my proposal? Sure, I'll accept your proposal, but on one condition. What's that? Call me Don. Mr. Price was my father's name. Well then, Don, I need you to meet me at the train station. Things have gotten, how would you say, immediate. Sure, I'll be there in ten. Don, I need to leave town now. The next train's two towns over. Now ain't happening, baby. Will you wait on the platform with me then? Sure, whatever. Jigs up, Evelyn. You're coming with us. Oh, Donnie, do something. Sorry, dollface, but this is where you come clean. You thought you had my number, and you almost did. You see, your little stunt was yesterday's news, literally. Yeah, I saw the paper. And these detectives here, well, they spelled it out for me. You were trying to use that face to play me like a root. But I see past those cherry red lips. You killed your husband, and you were going to try to pin it on me. But now you're going away for a long time. Would you believe I'm innocent? Would you believe I'm a flying horse? Now, nah, sugar lips, this is the way it's gonna be. Well, I guess I'll see you around. Not too soon, baby. Not too soon. Thank <laughs> you.